Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Photoshop. I'm using 221, same can be 219, 220, etc. Create a radial design. Illustrator has a radial feature, a really excellent feature, and of course you can work in Illustrator, copy the design into Photoshop, just as easy as well. But how to do this sort of thing in Photoshop? Of course there's no automatic feature, but this is a way of approach. One approach. I'm certain there are other ways of doing this, but I'm just going to select all those and I'm going to remove it. Now you can see I've got some guides here, so view and new guide layout. Basically I've got 10 and 10, could be two or two. What you need is the central point, that's the key thing. So now I'll just go over, I'm just going to create an object. Key thing being a shape, fill, doesn't matter, whatever. And what you do, you can just create it. And I want it to be on that center point of the document. So there's the center point of the document, just there. Just position it there and you can resize it do all sorts of things there, but as long as the bottom bit is on that center point. And what you can do, you can turn it into a smart object. And this is the key thing for the whole thing. Turn it into a smart object. So layer and smart objects convert to smart object. Now I'm going to transform it. Now I'm not going to do all of it because I've got a, I've got an action. I've got an action over here, window and actions. I've just created, but you can see the approach to this. So the key thing is just go to now the smart object, go to layer and duplicate that smart object. Click OK. And then you can go to edit and transform and you can go rotate. Now what I want is this little center point here for this is for the smart object. Just drag it down to there. Just on the actual center of the document. And now make certain you remember to do it because quite often I do it. I end up pressing return anyway. And what I want is to enter 30 there. So you can see it just rotates around. And of course, the next time when you do it, the next object, you want to put 60 and then 90, then 120, or 20, 40, 60, etc. So press return. Now you can see it's just moved around, around that center point. Now what you can do, you can duplicate this one. So layer and duplicate. And you can go to edit and transform and rotate. And again, you've got that center point there, so just drag it down to that center point in the document. Now, I know you could do it over here as well. I've never found that works, particularly for me, for some weird reason. I seem to have more trouble. I prefer to use that little center point there and just drag it down there. It has a mind of its own, as far as I can see, this section. However, that's just me. What you can then do is put 60 in here. And you can go 60, 90, etc. Press return. And you can see you can go all the way around with that. Now I'm not going to do that because I've got an action for that. So let's just start from afresh. So there's the design. And now it's, this is pre, let's just get rid of it. Probably best to get rid of it. Just show it right from the start. Go there and you can create any design. It doesn't have to be that. It could be a square. It could be any shape. It doesn't matter at all. It's a shape, as long as it's a shape layer. And it's, you know, you can have it any size you want as well but as long as it's on that center point there. Press return. Now the action does exactly what I was doing earlier with the 30, 60, but instead I've just called it radio repeat, convert to smart object. So it converts it to smart object and then does the duplicate transform, etc. Because then I can repeat it obviously with any object. So I've got this design like this. What you can also do is you can use a scale transform as well. So I've just created here just a simple smart object and just scaled it down as well. So how to do that? And obviously what I'm going to do now is I'm going to combine them all into one. Now this is a recording as well. I've done a, let's just remove all those. Now I've got over here an action it does exactly that task. However, how to do it? So first thing to do, exactly like before, just create an object. And I'm just going to create a very basic object. Again, shape, doesn't matter on the color. And what you can do, just as long as you turn it into a smart object. Now I've done a few times when I've run through these tutorials and I will end up forgetting to convert it to smart object. That's the key thing, smart object. Otherwise this, this will not work. So layer and go down to smart objects and convert to smart object. It's now a smart object. See it over here and I always have to check. I always have to check. You can just see there, a little thumbnail that you can see that it's definitely a smart object because otherwise it's a shape and then suddenly the transforms do not work in the same way. What you can then do is you can go to layer and you can duplicate the layer. 
Now you can record this, of course, you can go to actions and you can simply add an action there and create this action. Now what you can then do, you can move it. Now you can move it anywhere. It doesn't You don't have to have it in a straight line. I'm doing it in a straight line. I'm doing it just below. You don't have to. You can put it anywhere. You can have it curved, arced, zigzagged, whatever. Once you've done that, you've got edit and transform and scale. Now I'm going to go for 90. Could be 75. Could be anything. 75, 50, 25. That's the one that I've created in there. So it's different. So, But this is the approach I'm using. So press return. And then you can, of course, go to layer and duplicate layer again. Press OK. And again, you can then shift it again just below. And then edit and transform and scale. And you'll notice when you do this that the scale is stored. This is when I just did a, a run through of this. I was doing it and suddenly I noticed it was set to 100% again. I was thinking, that's strange. Should be uh, 80 or 90. Because if it's a shape, you will get 100% there. When you do it with a smart object, you will get the transform will be remembered. So it's, you can put 80 for this one and it will do that each time. So 80 there, press the turn. And again, you can duplicate this one again. So, And also remember, if you're doing a recording, is to use layer. Layer and duplicate. No point in using alt or option. Doesn't seem to record it. It certainly doesn't on my version anyway. Doesn't seem to be the same thing. So there's that. And then you can move that down there. And then edit and transform again. And then you'll see again, scale. And then now you can enter 70. But again, if you use just the shape, it will be just 100. It will say 100 there, which is not the same. So you can see you can create scaling design so it reduces it down. And that's the approach I've used for that. So let's just remove those now. I don't want those. I just want to show you how to do this. Because this is all the action does. So there's an object. I'm just going to quickly create this. And this one is a 75, 50, 25 scale object. So I click that and I can just go press the turn. And you've got that design there. Very basic design. Now what you can do, of course you can if you want to, you can select them all. You can duplicate that design. You can create all number of combinations. So just duplicate that design. Like that. Select them all. If you select all of those objects. Now you'll notice also, of course, I created one for the repeat feature as well. The radial repeat. So I've got that design there. Now you might, I'm just going to rotate that around. You can rotate it. You can do it at different angles. Perfectly reasonable. And you can resize it. It's a smart object. Perfectly reasonable. Press return. So once you've done that, you don't have to have it in the centre object. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be in the centre. It can be anywhere. This transform now, if you go to that radial repeat, and that one will generate the 12 all the way around, and you've got your design there. And if you don't like it, of course, you can always just obviously quickly undo. You have to do undo because it's obviously done an action. It's created all those actions all the way around. But you can always undo that. Get rid of that one and reposition it again. Something else. Just have that one. Maybe add a special effect to it. Maybe go to layer. Let's just go to layer and smart objects. Convert smart object and then go to layer, layer style and bevel and boss. I don't particularly like that one. I'm just going to go with that one. And add a there's a drop shadow, just a drop shadow right down the bottom. So there's a drop shadow. So you've got the design there. What you can do, now you can use the radial repeat. And you can see you've got that design. Again, or you can undo that. So you can just undo that. Now, unfortunately, it shows it's not as flexible. However, oops. Got that design, I've just got one there. That's what I wanted, just one over here, just to make certain you've got one layer. Again, you can run through with that, and you can see your design there. I'm not gonna change, but you could rotate it, you could do other things as well. Now, once you've done that, you can move things, of course, or just leave it like that, but you can still edit the whole thing. So if you decide, you know what, I don't want those dots. Don't like the dots. Well, what you can do, you can change it. You can double click, 
So double click on there and you can see then double click on this. Double click on that and you can go all the way back to this design here. And you got your back to your basic shape. Now, of course, this is very small. Now, I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you can actually see it. But you can resize this. Now, of course, what you can, you can resize the entire thing. You go to image and you can change the canvas. Most time I don't. I try to go as big as possible at the start for the design. So you can see you can just reduce that size there. Maybe go to, let's just add another shape. So let's just add another shape there. Um, change the color, pink, and maybe go for change the color there as well, blue, and you've got the design there. Now, I know there's quite a lot of smart objects. Go all the way back, because this is obviously multiple repeats, etc. Then it's just exactly the same in Illustrator. When you go and create things, you've got an isolation mode. Much the same thing, if not the same thing. Save, and you can see the design there, save. And you can see the design now building up again. Save. Save. And then, of course, you've got your design there. And, OK, you've got your blue dot. It's not particularly brilliant, but you can, of course, still tweak these designs. So if you want to, you can always go over here and say, you know what? I don't want that design exactly. I can, of course, as I said, just go to image and canvas size. Now let's just add something there. Let's just go for width, well, 400, so a bit bigger. So you can add a bit more and you can just rotate this design. So I just rotate that design a bit. Maybe go there, maybe duplicate design. So hold down the ultra option key. Press return, hold down the ultra option key. It doesn't try and rotate that design. Move that up there. And now, of course, what I can do, I can close that again. Save. And you can get another design. So there's a variety of different radial designs that you can create, as well as, of course, the scale design. And you can, of course, create all numbers of actions. So you could set one that's got 12, 18, 20, whatever. Also scale with maybe 50 or 60 different objects going off. A variety of different actions can be saved. So you can just do it very quickly. And then you can quickly create all kinds of radial designs like this. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator, and many other applications. If you've got any questions, anything that I did wrong, anything I did right, please let me know in the comments. Something maybe you didn't that I didn't explain well enough, you didn't understand, please put in the comments. Also, a dislike or like, always appreciated, either way. Thank you much.